the blooming. Outside the room we wait, at first in silence, wondering whose turn is next and what we will be told. The quiet seems neither unfriendly nor strained in this sterile place coming to us the Christmas time, but no decorations yet. It is November and grey outside, befitting a wordless day. So it is unexpected when suddenly he begins to talk to me, this stranger who talks in familiar words of old things I have known only from old books. Have you ever seen the myrrh and bloom on Christmas Eve? I said that I had not, but that I had read it was a lovely thing and I would like to see it too. I have seen it, he said, with my own eyes, he said, and his face alert to possibility. I took my bicycle and I went to the place and I waited and I did not expect it, but it bloomed and it was midnight on Christmas Eve. It surely was a sign, I said, and he agreed and he told me where it was he'd gone to see it and the year it was. And then a nurse called him in and I never saw him again. <laughs>